Now, whether it's whiskey, orange juice, or Mountain Dew, I guarantee you, if it's in fluid form, somebody somewhere has filled up a loop with it, cooled their computer, and posted their results online. So given how done to death this concept is, I really never thought that we'd end up exploring the whole like weird or wacky exotic coolants concept. That is until I read a comment from one of our viewers, Jor Lagerstedt, who suggested that we try using concrete. Now hold on, I know what you guys are thinking, but based on some of our preliminary testing, I have reason to believe that this may actually work. Over the last couple of days, Alex has put together all the materials that we're gonna need to build what I believe is going to be the world's first concrete-cooled gaming PC. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need is some hardware. So we gathered up the parts for a pretty sweet modern gaming PC here. We've got ourselves a uh, Core i7-9700K, uh, 16 gigs of memory. We've got uh, RTX uh, 2080, not too shabby. I mean, the thing is, if we're gonna be doing a test like this, we wanna use something that's representative of a high performance gaming machine because if you use all low power stuff, and then you end up with really great thermal results, then all you've managed to demonstrate is that low powered hardware produces less heat and doesn't run as hot as high performance stuff. So like, what's the point of that, right? <laughs> exactly. Which one is this, the master case something or other? Yeah. Oh, the Maker 5T. Oh, this is an older one. They did a bunch of um, sponsored stuff with it. Oh no, it's not actually locked, is it? Um, can we unlock it from the inside? Eh. <laughs> okay, my left arm's a little skinnier than my right, for no reason at all. Well, problem solved. <laughs> Thermal take wins by default. Power for the motherboard. There we go. Man, if this works, I'm going to be just... It really shouldn't. But then, like, you can't deny the initial testing. Yeah, you really can't. We weren't even gonna do this video. Yeah, people might be surprised how many things we try and just never makes it to video. Now, normally these days we use a triple 120 millimeter radiator, but again, if Alex's calculations are correct, we should be able to get away with just a double and get similar or even better results. So this is it for our build. You know, it's actually got kind of like an old school charm to it. I like it. <laughs> Oh, that is doing there? that is the heaviest bag of coolant I have ever seen before. Oh, wow. 34 kgs. One part quick crete mortar cement, two and a quarter to three parts masonry sand. Yeah, we're, we're not uh, putting sand in there. Well, yeah, obviously. Obvious reasons, yeah. That'd be stupid. <laughs> okay, I'll bring this guy. I'll, uh, I'll get a bucket of water. Okay, what did you need my help for exactly? I don't know. For whatever reason, I thought we'd need two people. One to like sort of hold it and make sure, but this is actually working pretty well. Do we even need such a big mixer? We need like a liter of concrete. Well, um, have you ever made concrete before? Yes, actually. Oh. It's been a while though, now that I think about it. Yeah! Let's make sure we have enough. Yeah. I think it needs more concrete. Okay. I mean, if we want to take advantage of the cooling potential of it, then we have to make sure we actually have enough concrete in there. Okay, that's starting to look kind of closer. Look, we're a tech how, channel, okay? How the pros do it. You want concrete tips, you watch a concrete channel. Just look at this. Yeah, this will be great. All right, so I guess let's get a baseline reading with water first. Oh, right. <laughs> I was just gonna start putting the concrete in. No. Ah, shoot, right, yeah, good call, good call. And that way we can make sure the system actually even works too. You know, it's funny, you seem to be expressing a fair bit of skepticism about this whole idea, but need I remind you that you were the one who did the initial testing? Like, look at this. Hey, it posted, nice. Okay, so we've got working hardware. Yeah, now let's uh, just see if we can boot into Windows. So we're at about 35 to 40 degrees idle. Let's go ahead and start our stress test here. Okay, that's pretty that's good. Not bad. Yeah. It's like about what I'd expect. So 55 to 60 degrees. So everything seems to be working normally. So it seems like it's basically leveled off. Like. 
We could run it for a while longer, but we're just at 62 degrees maximum. Yeah, this is exactly what we'd expect. Yeah. So. All right, let's drain it. We want to blow out as much of the water as we can so that we don't have, I mean, obviously the concrete is just concrete and water. So a little bit of extra water isn't going to kill it, but we don't want to get our ratio off. <laughs> you know, I'm beginning to have some second thoughts. <laughs> we might need to be a bit watery Hold on a second. Look at this. As it moves, you can actually see it turn more liquid. That's what you were saying was supposed to yeah. help us, right? See that? Like you can see it's really solid, but as it moves, it actually turns to a liquid. So you can see the reservoir is actually filling up a lot better than we expected. Well, than I expected anyway. <laughs> I don't know what your expectations were. So I am more than halfway done. Check this out. Oh yeah, not bad. And what's crazy is you can actually see that even though it's clearly a liquid because it's flowing in there, it's kind of solid right now. How's that going to affect things when we get the pump hooked up? Uh. We might need to power cycle it a couple of times, but it also sure. might just work. For those wondering, this is why we used half inch tubing because you're gonna need a pretty thick with two C's tube in order to get concrete through it. So uh, how, how do I do this without making a mess? <laughs> oh, the tubes? Yeah. Oh, that's not a problem. Spray it down with some water and then just give it a wipe down with this. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but. Yeah, do you? Do you uh, yeah, for sure. Um... Oh, this is exciting. So we've got two pieces of tubing filled. So we can go ahead and attach the pump. So Alex, this is great. I've got two of the tubes on already. Mm -hmm. And I can actually attach the other one to the res right now. Oh, nice. So okay. <laughs> I guess this, this is the, uh, the moment of truth. So when we do get the, uh, the heat and the pump going, it should like make it more liquidy and just kind of get her oh, on man. through but uh these are like the heaviest tubes i think i've ever felt and that that looks really thick in there okay. oh that sound <laughs> do you hear the pump yeah it's like wait oh uh it's moving it It sounds Holy questionable, but uh. Crap. I think you're all right. Bad. Is it gonna yeah. boot though? No, yes. it's already posted. <laughs> ha! You have got to be kidding me. This shouldn't work. Okay, so was, hold on a second. I was pretty scared up to now, but. Why uh, does this work? Can you see, are you seeing this? No, no, the tubes. Like, are you seeing this? It's, okay, so we're idling. It's idling actually at, moving. Idling at 24, we were doing 40. Hold 40, on, check the, st check the step. 28, maximum. Uh, no way. Start. We jumped like right up to like 52, four. Wait, what do you mean 52? You mean on the other one? Yeah, on the last one we jumped like Holy right to 50 crap. and then. Holy crap. Even though the coolant is moving, like you can clearly see there's flex that aren't. It's almost like there's an inner channel of movement but around the outsides of the tubes, it doesn't move at all. We're right, now maximum 48 degrees. So like we can leave this for a bit. The thing about water cooling is that normally you only get heat being transferred at the block and at the rad. Yeah. Because like the great thing about water is that it has such a high heat capacity. Right, yeah, well but, that's exactly why water is supposed to be the best thing for liquid cooling. Well, but the thing is, is that concrete is sort of like a ceramic of sorts, but a ceramic that you can like have sort of flowing around. Right. So it not only is like heating up there and there, but it's also like getting into the concrete that can deposit the heat into the water all along here. And then like all along here, it will be just taking that heat away oh as it, after God, it goes through so here. That makes so much sense. That's why nobody likes having like a concrete floor in their bedroom. Like when you get out of bed, and you step onto a concrete floor, immediately it draws all the heat away from your feet. And like, mm -hmm. same thing with like a basement then. That's why your basement never gets hot in the summer. So why has nobody ever explored this before? We are sitting right now at anywhere from 49 to 50 degrees Celsius. That is a significant improvement. And if you look at this, the CPU temp is actually at 28 degrees. That's a 10 degree delta from just water. 
So this is incredible. I mean, it doesn't look great. I mean, we could we could clean it up a fair bit yeah. and everything, but it, you know, it doesn't look amazing. But the results totally speak for themselves. I mean, is it high five time? I think so. Just ow! <laughs> My hands are kind of cold from working with the, <laughs> the concrete. Which makes sense again. Like yeah. that's why your hands get cold when you work with it. Like it's so obvious now. Honest, you have to come see this. What's up? Uh, just, just come along. It's a okay. Sorry. Kind of, yeah, I'll be back. Kind of bad things. Hold on. Oh no, it's not the concrete PC, is it? You know how we just kind of left it last night? Yeah. Because like you know we were oh here. Oh my kind god, of it's not running. <laughs> yeah, I think we had like a brownout or something last night. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh Oh crap. <laughs> this like doesn't bend. But like I don't know if you can see in there, but this is clearly problematic. Yeah, like Hold on. We we could maybe try uh turning it on, seeing if it'll go, but Oh, I, I don't think that's a very yeah, good idea. Yeah, no. <sighs> Shoot. Okay, so we've definitely identified the downside to concrete cooling, but that kind of comes with the territory with any sort of enthusiast grade solution, and I don't think it's unreasonable to expect people to have a UPS. So given that we got a 10 degree improvement in our CPU temps, I'm still comfortable recommending it. We have certainly seen computer hardware aficionados do more crazy things for less benefit than that. Speaking of more for less, our sponsor for today's episode, Dollar Shave Club. Dollar Shave Club is the place to go to get more great bathroom supplies for less. And they've got some special offers on right now. For just five bucks, you can get their shower, shave, or oral starter set. That's right, guys. Dollar Shave Club has way more than just shaving supplies now. So the shave starter set comes with the executive razor and a trial size tube of their Dr. Carver shave butter. The oral starter set comes with their weighty tooth brush and a trial sized version of their toothpaste and the shower starter set comes with three trial sized versions of their amber lavender body cleanser citrus and hawaiian ginger face cleanser and sage and black pepper shampoo after the starter set the restocks will be regular sized products at their regular pricing so go try it out it's dollarshaveclub.com slash linus we're gonna have that linked below so thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Actually, hold on. What was it? Uh, um, commercial grade quick crate. Uh, type MCS. Uh, that's the one. We need to make sure we have that linked below. Uh, also linked in the video description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which is totally worth a join.